successful surgery. Her operation was successful. Our operation time was about 11 hours. Mm -hmm. It's a long operation from the morning at the till till in till the evening. evening. Okay, sir, we're great. This is my. I know this operation, but this is my first. The first surgery lasts for 11 hours. The second surgery lasts for seven hours, and the fourth surgery lasts for five hours. Uh, we have had some uh, complication after the surgery. We have touched for the skin opening, basins for infection and other other problems. But Fatuma achieved all, and yeah. we have a good result at, at the moment. And of course, we spent nearly three months in the hospital. After the operation, we wait about two months, and the, the last last uh, one month is okay without any complication she's doing well she is eating she is uh, urinating normal that's why we, we are going to let her come back to gambia yeah okay. gambia give them um, um um a tap on their back to tell them thank you for the good job uh, how many times one, did she one big operation and two two small operations mm -hmm. and two endoscopies all including the the same success of surgery but now it is our duty as a citizen it's our duty um collectively and individually to congratulate this doctor i'm surgeon yeah and i i did uh, my one of the my best surgery mm -hmm. and it's okay vm international dunia b alala moy alia follow from facebook to youtube always like comment subscribe and turn the notification bell only on youtube don't forget to like our facebook page vm international vm somebody hello viewers and welcome to the vm show once again i am vm travale and you are watching live on vm international tv just to let you know today is not the day to cry but today is the day to give thanks to the Most High and to the people that are watching and that has been contributing immensely on Fatimata's um, operation. Um, we are told that today Fatimata will be discharged in the hospital. And of course, um, any time from now, Fatimata might be leaving um, Turkey to come to the Gambia. For that being the reason, we also noticed that Fatimata's operation was one of the biggest um, operations so far. And in fact, there are different people that were wondering if Fatimata um, will be recovered on this um, operation. But alhamdulillah, just to let you know, um, her operation was successful through the help of uh, the doctors today we are going to meet. And of course, through the help of the people that were praying and of course um, contributed um, towards Fatimata's health being. We are all aware that it was a long journey, but alhamdulillah, uh, the journey has come to an end. And all we need to do now is to go up there and of course um, have a conversation or dialogue with the doctors. And after that, um, we all should come together and congratulate the doctors for their job well done. We know it's not always easy, but alhamdulillah, we must give thanks to God. So let's go up there and see what will be the result of Fatimata's case. VM, VM, Vice Dr. Me. Professor. Um, it's nice to have you here again. We're here with Fatimata. We all know um, what Fatimata was going through. But um, thank God today uh, the doctor is here. Uh, of course, he is going to explain to us um, how severe was Fatimata operation. Please, your name again? Ali Ihsan Dokuja, I'm professor in pediatric surgery and urology. All right. Um, today, we are here with Fatimata, and we believe that Fatimata did a severe operation. These are operations that we all were expecting that nothing good would come out of it. Can you tell us exactly how complicated was Fatimata's operation since in the beginning to the end? It's a long journey, mm -hmm. a, a surgical journey. It was about four months ago we have met uh, for Met Fatumata and examine her and we prepared some uh, some thinking about how to we can perform the surgery. Mm -hmm. It is a very difficult surgery because 
Fatimata is uh, is a uh, old lady, a little bit not ch child. Uh, uh, I mean, old children. I should say mm -hmm. he's not. Ch I am a pediatric surgeon, but I know very well this kind of uh, this kind of malformation. Mm -hmm. It is a extrophy, bladder of extrophy. Mm -hmm. That means uh, her bladder is open at the at the at the birth. Mm -hmm. And uh, they try it in Gambia, mm -hmm. uh, or as well, I don't know exactly, but they said it was a failed surgery. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, up to 23 years old, they you waited for a, a successful surgery. Mm -hmm. And wha what we have uh, found at the beginning of the examination, there was a, uh, there will, uh, there was a very tiny bladder, mm -hmm. too small bladder, and uh, uh, and associated with a vaginal mm -hmm. and vulval extrovert. That means uh, th there there was also a genital problem mm -hmm. to, to have a, a normal sexual intercourse mm -hmm. in the future and having babies. Mm -hmm. Because Fatimata, for internal organs, she has absolutely normal organs. No organs. No normal organs. Okay. For uh, for uh, uterus, mm -hmm. for uh, ovaria, mm -hmm. uh, but the ex uh, extrophy means that this is a very important uh, anomaly about the genitalia mm -hmm. and the bladder. How they didn't touch up to 23 years old, mm -hmm. we have programmed to make an operation, very rare operation, mm -hmm. that means herald packet operation for, for, uh, for having a continence for mm -hmm. stool, having a continence for urine. Mm -hmm. the, uh, but in this, at the same time, we, it is a very big, uh, complicated operation. Mm -hmm. It takes time to prepare for, for her, for budget, for hospital. And we have uh, performed this operation about two months ago. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit more than two months ago. And our operation time was about 11 hours. Mm -hmm. It's a long operation from the morning at the till, till, the, till evening. the evening. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a good consequence after the, uh, so, uh, after the surgery. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, uh, we have had some uh, complication after the surgery. We have touched for the skin opening, the essence for infection and other other problems. But Fatumata achieved all and yeah. we have a good result at the, at the moment. There was no bladder, mm -hmm. very small, tiny plate. That means we have we don't have enough uh, tissue to make a new bladder. Mm -hmm. That's why we used uh, the colon mm -hmm. as a bladder. Yeah. And how we need also incontinence, that means trying to keep the urine control mm -hmm. we have used the anus for uh, for uh, trying to keep the urine inside mm -hmm. but how we she needs also a colon uh, that means for stool mm -hmm. don't we have double double way mm -hmm. for the main true that mm -hmm. means we have a urine reservoir that uh, as a bladder mm -hmm. uh, using by colon mm -hmm. and we have a colon for stool both both function by the same way mm -hmm. that we this is a very complicated operation this is a real great this is my i know this operation but this is my first even maybe in turkey whole turkey there i i heard about a few two three operation during the last uh, 40 years mm -hmm. this is very great but complicated operation for the patients like her mm -hmm. that means this is a very late complication, mm -hmm. the very late presentation of the patient, mm -hmm. how she has come at the end of the third, uh, 23rd years. Mm -hmm. It's very late. It's very for, late, yeah. It's very late. Can you also tell the audience uh, for the first operation, what were your biggest fear when you were doing the operation? Uh, I, I explained to her that maybe uh, that complication because of the septicemia, mm -hmm. 
because of the opening the wound stations that may be complicated uh, some other problems it's very complicated operation but we, she achieved we also achieved the, the the good success yeah um can you also tell us um how many operations did she did um throughout the four three months uh, how many times one, did she one, one big operation and two two small operations mm -hmm. and two endoscopies all including the the same success of surgery okay so um coming to that again what are some of the issues that you really face during the operation because right. hobby she has a, a different anomaly that means we we should make an uh how how i say it F fashion made surgery for her understand mm -hmm. because uh, I mean, uh, as a tailor, we tailored her bowel, we tailored her bladder, we tailored her colon to make an operation for one life. Mm -hmm. It's a lifelong operation. How long do you think? Like life how many of, years? Like long, inshallah. Mm? Lifetime. Lifetime. Okay. So that means even if she goes back home, she's not going to be complaining or having complications. I, I don't think so. That's why we wait after the operation we wait about two months and the, the last last uh, one month is okay without any complication she's doing well she is eating she is uh, urinating normal that's why we, we are going to let her come back to Gambia. Yeah, okay. Gambia. so now uh, what advice do you have for her because we noticed that during the big operation she got an infection and that infection really affected her. We have too. some pre uh, precautions for not having the infection. She she needs to eat lots of proteins mm -hmm. and some fiber, both proteins and fiber. Mm -hmm. Having good stool, having a very strong body mm -hmm. f uh, for p by proteins and the life uh, leaf. I mean uh, fiber. Mm -hmm. The fiber. For, for the good good quality of the stool it's mm -hmm. very important it's important um distinguished audience and of course viewers out there just to let you know uh we all know that fatma went through a lot but again the people also went through a lot in a sense that um the operation was really complicated in the beginning we all were worried in fact uh, the amount of money that was requested was high but what was more important is Fatima's health. And of course, um, some were even thinking Fatima will not make it. But even some of these doctors also, they were having the fear that, okay, this operation, probably it might not be successful. But then it, this is the time for us to give thanks to the Most High, that is Allah, and then give thanks to those who really contributed but the biggest th thanks goes back to the doctors because they really donated us. Uh, they take their time. In fact, we run out of money. We were not even having money. The food we're supposed to eat, um, we, we couldn't have it. But through the help of good people who are watching us, and of course, through the help of uh, the professor, and also um, not forgetting the government too, they also contributed $10,000 um, on Fatima's operation. So on that note, we will also congratulate them for their effort. But again, um, daughter, uh, Fatima's operation was so emotional in the beginning. Why was it so emotional? Because long and complicated operation. How I say it, this is the first time I, I have done this, this kind of operation. Okay. Very rare. So um, now, um, what message do you have for the people? Because there are a lot of people in the world that have sickness and they are hiding it from the people and as a result you know their treatment became become late and this could be an effect to you or it might affect the general nation this is a, this is a very rare, rare anomaly right mm -hmm. you can't find you can find maybe in whole africa a few cases like fatumata mm -hmm. not not so wide okay, okay? It's a very, very rare uh, operation normally mm -hmm. and very rare late presentation. Mm -hmm. This is very special uh, thing to Fatumata, not for not for everybody. Okay. But we can fight even 
even in Turkey, in Afghanistan, for example, I have some patients from Afghanistan, same. Mm -hmm. This is, they are coming from the rare and poor regions mm -hmm. as Fatumata comes. Okay, this is very late complication because of the no service, medical service for her at the, at the beginning of the, her life. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. Yeah. Okay. And then before we go, um, can you also let us know, because I was told that she need to do um, another operation for the for time. Me, me, she needs an, uh, another operation for, for genitalia, mm -hmm. okay? Having uh, family, having uh, kids, mm -hmm. something like this. But it's an, also a big, big operation, but mm -hmm. we can't do that at, at now. At least we should uh, wait one year, okay. at least. Okay. And it costs also some, some money. That's why you need to, to, to get the time. She needs some, some food, some, a good quality of the body, weight, having some bit, no complication. She needs some, some time. And get, uh, getting well and well, maybe after you, you come, come back. And there's a, mostly uh, she needs for a reconstructive plastic surgery operation and genital genital surgery, not okay. All right. Um, currently, the first lady of Republic of the Gambia also came here. Are you aware? Yeah. Okay. Um, what are the messages do you have for her too? Because probably she will be concerned to know um, about her health, not only her but also. I, I, I know the people uh, help help her for 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 budget. Yeah. And and the hospital also. Helped you very much. Mm -hmm. I normal two two month long uh, hospitalization. It cost f lots of money. Mm -hmm. They didn't let to go be because because you don't uh, you didn't pay enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, by they keep you inside hospital mm -hmm. and treat, giving lots of good quality of medi medical yes. uh, medications. It was good for yeah. for we 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 should thank the people. We should thank also. The hospital management. Mm -hmm. We should thank also the whole medical med medical equip, including me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, you deserve a big congratulation okay. because um, when we came here in the beginning, I was crying, you were crying, and including some of your teams that came. In fact, let us know how many doctors were present in Fatima. Five, five to seven. Just out there, uh, just to let you know, Fatima did almost three. Um, uh, different type of surgery. I mean, three different surgery, and each surgery lasts. Um, let's say the first surgery lasts for eleven hours. The second surgery lasts for seven hours, and the fourth surgery lasts for five hours. Um, when you calculate all this, you will come to realize that it it was a long journey, and of course, we spent nearly three months in the hospital and then you know we like i said in the beginning we run out of money i could remember when we came here uh they they were talking uh she he told us like for example if the operation should take place in america uh, nothing less than hundred thousand dollars will be requested if at all uh this operation should take place um in France, of course, nothing less than um, 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 50 uh, pounds. So on that note, uh, we cannot thank them because for them, they really contributed. Yes, the people contributed, but them also, they really contributed. On that note, what is your final message to the people out there that are, watch, uh, that are watching? I'm a surgeon. Yeah. I, I did uh, my, one of the, my best surgery, mm -hmm. and it's okay, and go back with a smiling face. Thank you. So on that note, uh, we thank each and everyone for everything and thanks for watching. God bless you. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Vim 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 fi wole ka falin wole ka falin wole ka falin yara la ko be manaka le kensenti amita nya wonya to nya le bela banna